Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Pisces. Where are my possible Pisces at? So, as you already know, this um, this is your weekly motivation for this channel. Okay, so I'm going to be picking up your oracle messages. And for my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0, it's going to be your general reading. I'm going to be dropping a Pisces reading today for you guys. Okay, just give me some time because I'm multitasking. There's a lot going on. The time now is 619, so 10 plus 6 is 16, 7. Religious factors. Some of you guys may be going to church, staying prayed up at this time. Jesus. Uh, Jesus is seven. Okay, but your blessings are coming in, guys. So let's see. I'm excited to see. The title of this video is going to be a Bible verse. So if you have a problem with Bible verses, please go to another channel because prayer is essential for your spiritual growth. Okay? Yes. Okay. So let's begin, Pisces. Barra, Barbiel. So you guys may be, name may be Barbara, or they call you Bar, Barbie. Okay, 39 is 12. You're going through a powerful transformation at this time. Red, black, gold, and white may be your colors. Okay, yes. Or you may be getting married in those colors. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or have rising moon Venus, or your North Lord is Scorpio, but you're, you're, you're going through a powerful transformation. And highly intuitive right so following your intuitions impacts out there so be careful with who you give your energy to at this time but loving oneself okay yes embodying oneself yes going through your transformation gracefully 39 is 12 which is three trinity some of you guys name may be trinity but loving thyself knowing thyself okay awakening to your truth walking in your truth being authentic right Okay, so Barbio, angel of compassion, metamorphosis. There you go. You're going through a metamorphosis, okay? Shift in consciousness, changing your perspective. Peaceful change. Again, you're going through this gracefully. Light codes, enhancing your spiritual gifts and transform, transformation. I aid ascension. You may be seeing a lot of butterflies or have butterflies tattooed on you. I aid ascension through transformational soul healing and alignment with your higher purpose, like I said. Obsidian. October, so something significant in October, and follow intuition. Follow your intuitions, okay? It's all about paying attention because your your third eye, your awakening, your third eye is open, okay? So if it doesn't feel right, it's not right, okay? So if you invite it somewhere and, you know, you start feeling funny about going, Spirit is saying follow your intuitions. Don't go. Something's going to happen, right? Okay, let me get your affirmation, Pisces. I am love and I am love. I am a success. I am enough. I am love. I am a success. I am enough. That is your affirmation. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys may um, work at a jewelry store or hang like hang jewelry or some type of embroidery uh, curtains or accessories around your house. Okay. Or love to wear like a jewelry in your hair or yeah, just love to wear a lot of jewelry and rings and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I am love. I am a success. I am enough. And I do see you guys being very successful. Okay, so let me get your money affirmation now. It says money stress. Okay, a lot of people are getting this card. So some of you guys are stressed about money. Some of you guys maybe I do see a celebration, a retirement of some sort, a uh, promotion. Okay, yes, but balloons, many opportunities coming in towards you guys, Pisces. Okay, but some of you guys are stressed about money. So this is your affirmation. It says, visualize your money stress in a balloon floating away. So it, your affirmation is, I release money anxiety. I release money anxiety. I release money anxiety. Okay, yes. I know it's easier said than done, but cash your cares upon God. And don't focus too much on the problem. It, don't, it only becomes worse. Okay, Pisces? Teacher. Uh, some of you guys are educators out there. Okay, schooling others. All right. Uh, going back to school, learning. Okay, but very wise and very knowledgeable professors. Okay, love to read books. But teacher, your gifts. Natural teacher. Yeah, people learn from you. Uh, bosses, um, supervisors, hold a lot of meetings, public speakers, okay, good with communication. Enjoys jobs with flexible schedules, okay, so yeah, you enjoy to, you know, yeah, with flexible schedule, you don't like routine, okay, thrives on learning 
new skills and I do see uh, entrepreneur as well thrives on learning new skills so yes you're always constantly learning you are always constantly evolving metamorphosis you're always constantly transforming that's very good Pisces your challenges may be selfish at times okay so again try not to be so selfish Pisces okay <laughs> self-pity so self-pity is like uh, self-sabotage right so get out of that mindset okay and codependence codependency on alcohol drugs sex people we know codependent so those are your challenges okay but your lesson is you learn that wisdom is knowledge combined with experience so what you whatever you've been through in life you understand that this is a learning lesson and you apply it to your life that's very very good Pisces you understand Okay, this, you understand, and that's why you're constantly evolving into a better version of yourself. Okay, very spiritual people I'm picking up out there. Okay, so why am I confused? Have confidence. Have confidence. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys, your legs are beautiful. Um, some of you guys may be hairdressers out there. Okay, but loving yourself. Really confident. Purple may be your favorite color as well. Okay. Some of you guys may love plants. A lot of plants. All right. Some of you guys may love to get pedicures or just the water itself. You love to swim and stuff like that. Okay. Yes, take baths, like, you know, pamper yourself, put roses in the bathtub and light candles and take some, um, put some soft music on and take baths. <laughs> okay, yeah, soothe it. Yeah, okay, all right, pampering yourself. All right, but have confidence. You're very confident. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will bow your courage and faith. Okay, so they will they will bestow they will they will um, give you the courage and faith um, to know that you are good enough. That is your affirmation. I am good enough. Okay, yes. So when you feel a lack of confidence, all right. One on one, yeah. So some of you guys are like going back to school, okay? English one on one. You understand what I mean, right? But professors out there, but one on one, repeating numbers, mirror numbers. Be productive and take positive action toward your dreams and desires. You will attain the success and a fulfillment you seek. And I do. I said. I said you. I see you guys being very successful. So you will attain the success and fulfillment you seek. But be productive. You have to put yourself out there and keep going, guys. Don't give up. There's a breakthrough coming. There's a breakthrough coming. It may be delayed, but there's a breakthrough coming. Some of you guys may love to chop wood, um, you know, camping or have some type of cabin in the woods that you need to, uh, you have a fireplace. But there's a breakthrough coming, guys. Okay, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> basically that. All right, let me get one of these. But you're cutting away bullshit and people. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Yes, you are. Sayonara. Their heads is on the chopping block. <laughs> no mercy. Let me say. Yeah. That's your video. No mercy. Hold on, guys. Wow, look what it says. A book. Some of you guys are journalists out there, writers. But I am enough. Again, it's something about your confidence. But I am enough. Some of you guys are writers out there. Okay, you feel like your talent is not being discovered. Okay. Yes, but spirit is all about self-appreciation, okay? Yes, you're going through a different, you're transforming, so you're going through different changes and different mood swings. But spirit wants its journal. Write down your ideas and implement them, 
is all about being productive, right? Because success, you're going to be successful. But and I do see a breakthrough coming. Okay, but it may have been delays or obstacles, but it's coming. So self-appreciation. I will find a moment throughout the day that I can just... De- I will find a moment throughout the day that I can dedicate to myself. Find a comfortable space and bring a pen and paper. I will write a letter of appreciation to myself where I will pour love into who I am and all that I do. So some of you guys are feeling unappreciated, okay? Whether in a relationship, at a job, uh, parenting, you just feel unappreciated. But Spirit is saying you are enough. And write a letter to yourself and, you know, give yourself recognition for all your hard work and what you do for others and what you do, you know, what you do, period. Okay? Yes. Don't ever doubt yourself. Self-sabotage here. Need I say more? Need I say more? You guys are going to be very successful, or you guys are very successful, but there's definitely a breakthrough coming. I do see promotion, a new job, and you get discovered, your talents. Okay, so keep going, Pisces. Don't give up. Okay, guys? So let me pull some tarot here, see what comes out for you. Hangman, this is you, Pisces. So this is learning to release those negative thoughts and being more optimistic. Right now you're in spiritual development, okay? But surrender and gain a new perspective. So spirit wants you to gain a new perspective, okay? Yeah, but you're in deep contemplation. So gain a new perspective. Get it out of your head and stop sabotaging yourself. Patience. Everything is patience. But spirit wants you to find balance within your life and do everything in moderation, okay? And rely on the higher ups at this time. Stay prayed up. Okay? Yeah. Some of you guys may need a spiritual bath or take a dip in the water. Okay? But everything is happening in divine timing. All right? But this is all about self-control and not to be overindulgent and codependent on things as alcohol and cigarettes and weed and all this shit. Okay? Because victory, success is right around the corner. Okay? But spirit wants you to walk your head, walk with your head high and know that you are good enough, that you are going to be successful. That is your affirmation because success is coming. I do see it. Okay? So stop sabotaging yourself. Get out of your head. And I do see a job proposition coming in that you're going to love. But putting the love into yourself and appreciate yourself and your accomplishments thus far. Okay? Yes, you are good enough. And you're going to be very successful. Okay? Yes, but some of you guys need to slow down on the coping mechanism. Okay? And th that could be shopping as well. Because, yeah, you feel like things were delayed and taking this time that you missed your opportunity. No, it's coming. But you need to close out and stop telling yourself negative thoughts okay yes okay yeah because you're going through a new phase you're you're closing out a cycle within oneself and going through a new phase and i do see a generous offer coming in okay but it's the strength and the courage to keep moving forward okay yes but you're becoming much stronger all right but i do see patience but success is there it's coming okay get out of your head okay and rely on the higher up stay prayed up at this time because you're under spiritual development. All right, let me get one more and I'm closing out your reading, Pisces. It says, where am I called to use my voice right now? So you, you, some of you guys are being called to be singers, rappers, uh, public speakers, but you guys are great communicators, okay? Highly intelligent, okay? So where am I called, podcast, to use my voice right now? You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters, and it's time for you to share it with the world, okay? So this week, share your story with at least one person. Be brave and speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. Yeah, light workers. Okay. Teacher. All right. That's all I have for you, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. Check out my other channel, I'm Possible 2.0, for your general reading. Okay. I have to go now. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl, Tosh. I'm out. <laughs>